<laughs> hey, everybody likes to play video games, or video games as real gamers say. But be careful, there's an evil video game console that kills people. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I mean it. It can talk. The thing can insult you because it's a, it's a robot, and that's what robots do. If you think a game console isn't too threatening, well, how about one that can draw out sharp knives and chainsaws out of its body and sprout long and foreboding pointy legs so it can walk and stalk you until your lifeless body is being cooked by its melting laser? Yes, and our favorite teen heroes are playing with that same console. Let's hope this isn't a short series due to dead characters. <laughs> Child's play. Jeff and Taylor Episode 1, G-Station. Out now at jeffandtaylorcomic.com. <laughs> Rated PG for mild peril, mild violence, dumb cops. Anyone up for a friendly game of death? Die! Rum, rum, race time! Jeff and Taylor got themselves into another funny predicament when they're challenged to a car race with a group called the West End Girls. A group known for their competitive spirit and big boobs. <clears throat> Jeez, what were Jeff and Taylor thinking? They know they can't drive, so they have to restore their old go-kart for the big race. Although J and T are forced with the handicap of using a go-kart, they'll still find a way to get ahead of the competition. Jeff and Taylor episode 2, Race Junkies. Out now at jeffandtaylorcomic.com. Rated PG for mild language, suggestive themes, killer teddy bears, and boob jokes. On your marks, get set, crash. This isn't working for me. <laughs> <laughs> It's not your fault, all right? It's not your fault. Everyone has had a bad day or two, but what about those who had bad days all throughout a span of three years? Just like this one girl named Blue. That's B-L-O-O. -O. Jeff and Taylor meet Blue and started to make fun of her. Make fun of her looks, make fun of her makeup, make fun of her what she wears. But they start to know her a bit, and the history behind her obsession with the color blue. So Jeff and Taylor will make blue into a new person, with a cool and positive attitude. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just... This story has some sad parts, you know? Jeff and Taylor Episode 3, Blue World. Out now on jeffandtaylorcomic.com. Rated PG for mild language, suggestive themes, mild violence, and crude humor. I guess. The world is more than just one color. Episode is up, and I'm not the one who's gonna be explaining things, but my man Bobby Ambler will be the one to do so. Holler at your boy. It's your boy Bobby Ambler here to tell you about this episode. Now let me drop it to your heart. These two losers, Jeff and Taylor, they're throwing this lame ass party just to get my attention. That's all I left it that it's about, just to get my attention. What, what, what do they have in that dumb ass part? They have this uh, hippie chick, this blue girl, this loud mouth, uh, greasy New Yorker guy, uh, this ghetto ass clown named Party Dude. Well, why the hell is Party Dude there? What did he do? Party Dude, what, what the hell? Hey, I'm just here to tell you to read the episode because it's funny, because I'm in it. 
And you know, any episode where Bobby Ambler is in, it's sure to be a great old episode. Why you drop the beat out, man? I right, have go. You ready to rock it? Jeff and Taylor, episode four, party time. Cut out now on JeffandTaylorComic.com. Rated PG for my language. language. Suggestive themes. Alcohol reference. Ring, dumb cards. Potty, potty, potty. We gotta have a party. You heard? What? You heard? What? I'll see my brother. Man, oh man, Jeff and Taylor got themselves into another predicament. This time, it's a silly one. It was just a normal day in Somerville. Jeff decided to send a love letter to his crush, Jane. But when they arrived at the post office, two would-be burglars held the boys and other people hostage. Turns out these robbers are part of a group called Team Starhammer. Man, these fools robbing a post office? What's their motive? Why are they there? Why am I asking so many questions? Guess the only answer is to read the comic. Okay, nobody move! This is a robbery! <laughs> Jeff and Taylor episode 5, Post Office Heist. Out now on JeffandTaylorComic.com. Rated PG for mild peril, weird dreams, mild language, and dumb cops. Hey, it's better than paying for Express. for an action-packed Jeff and Taylor misadventure. Jeff and Taylor got in trouble by the robot security guard, E.G., due to their curiosity in the mall's lingerie store. So, as a little punishment, the both of them have to help E.G. guard the mall at night. Why at night? Not too sure. But in that same night where Jeff and Taylor are guarding the mall, two other mysterious figures are wandering the mall. Stealing, apparently stealing some things. And who knows what EG has up, up his sleeve. He looks kind of shady. Kill. <laughs> Jeff and Taylor episode 6, Mall Guard. Out now on JeffandTaylorComic.com. Rated PG for intense action, mild violence, and sexy lingerie. It's going to be a long and shocking night. Lordy, it's Maria's birthday today, which means she's gonna frolic and have fun and be stupid, right? Wrong. Actually, it's a very sad birthday for Maria, because her friends don't want to come to her party because they have other plans. So Maria's all whining and complaining throughout her birthday. So big sister Cindy wants to make it all better by making Jeff and Taylor buy the certain dress, the Little Miss Cherry dress. But there's going to be a problem because most of the stores that sell dresses are sold out of that dress. And the last one that has it is being run by this crazy lady who despises men. You heard me. She despises men and doesn't allow any men in her shop. So this is quite a birthday. How dare you! Jeff and Taylor episode 7. Maria's birthday. Out now on JeffandTaylorComic.com. Rated PG for mild language, mild violence, suggestive themes, and plastic moms. It's the most intense birthday of all time. Ah, going camping with your friends. You get to go on nature walks, pitch tents, eat berries. It's a lot of fun. Jeff Taylor and their guy friends go on a camping trip with their science teacher, Mr. Turner. That's all for a grade and uh, whatnot, all that bullcrap. But then Jerry told a story about this monster living in the woods called Sabertooth. It's called Sabertooth because of its long, sharp teeth. 
and apparently it kills people and turns them into candles. But lo and behold, Sabretooth is real, and he is kidnapping Jeff and Taylor's friends one by one. It's very scary. Camping is not fun at all, and this is proof. This comic is proof. In fact, camping can be a real nightmare. <laughs> Jeff and Taylor Episode 8, Nightmare Camping Trip. Out now on JeffandTaylorComic.com. Rated PG for mild language, scary images, a little blood, and dumb raccoons. These woods are known for their carnivorous animals. <laughs> man, oh man. What an episode this will be. Jeff, Taylor, and their friends, Cassidy and Holly, go to the cemetery to investigate a legend. A legend of a ghost girl, who apparently committed suicide at that very cemetery 30 years ago. So they all want to check it out to see if it's real. If this ghost that everybody claims to see throughout all these years is real. And believe me, it is. Could the legend be true? Well, I guess we would have to read the comic to find out. But you know, out of all the crazy stuff that Jeff and Taylor have gotten themselves into, this is a different episode. It isn't a normal adventure. It's a big life lesson on how to treat others. Especially ones who are born different. It's a gloomy episode, but it has a lot of spirit. Jeff and Taylor Episode 9, Ghost Girl. Out now on JeffandTaylorComic.com. Rated PG for mild language, scary images, and a little blood. Being dead sucks. Are you having trouble sleeping? Don't worry, Jeff and Taylor will tell you a story. It's an epic story filled with violence, mystery, and fan service, as we see Jefficus and his friend Talos go on a mission to save two young women from the evil Sam Dusa. It's an ancient Greek quest that will keep you wanting more and more, hoping it won't stop. <laughs> no love, dorks. Jeff and Taylor Episode 10, Ancient Geeks. Out now on JeffandTaylorComic.com. Read a PG for language, violence, drug references, and busty goddesses. It's an epic tale starring epic. It's just a normal school day for Jeff and Taylor. They got their school pictures, and as usual, Jeff's looks dumb. But later that day, in Kim's lab, Jeff got into a mysterious photo booth and accidentally cloned himself. And let me tell you, this clone is kind of different. With his pale skin, sharp teeth, and bad attitude, he's J&T's most unpredictable villain yet. Are you too weak to kill? <laughs> Jeff and Taylor episode 11, DJ. Out now on JeffandTaylorComic.com. Rated T for language, violence, crude humor, and snogging teens. This crazy clone loves cracking heads. Yeah. Hold on to your britches. We got ourselves another Jeff and Taylor episode. Team Starhammer is back to plot another robbery. A dumb one, no doubt. So our dudes team up with a teenage vigilante 
that goes by the name Rizo to foil the Starhammer goons' plans. And for Jeff, it's perfect timing, cause maybe his heroic stunt will impress Jane and she won't pay attention to that new sexy substitute teacher, Mr. Johansson. Will things go smoothly? Or will there be betrayal? Jeff and Taylor episode 12, Ninja Nonsense. Out now on JeffandTaylorComic.com. Rated PG for violence, mild language, suggestive themes, and dumb cops. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go! We're under attack! Will these two ever stop getting into trouble? Jeff and Taylor go on a little trip to Faulkner Island with Kim, Cindy, and Maria, thinking that they were going to find treasure, but instead were tricked to help with Kim's studies. But while the boys were exploring, they discover they're not alone on this island. A small army of spyware puppets and their leader, Ralph Bronson, inhabit the island. And let me tell you, they are not hospitable at all. They are hell-bent to spy on the citizens of Somerville, and Jeff and Taylor will try to stop their evil plans. <laughs> Jeff and Taylor episode 13, Spyware Madness, out now on JeffandTaylorComic.com. Rated PG for mild language, mild violence, and loud quacking. Island of the Superfluous Spy. At my signal, unleash hell. Something evil is a hip hop. Ashley's mother is hosting a fancy gala for wealthy and powerful people, and Jeff, Taylor, and Cassidy are hired to help cater. But a squad of rapping misfits called the Chaotic Crew plan to cause trouble at the gala, itching to perform for the unsuspecting crowd. Why would they? Is this a sick publicity stunt? Or something bigger? <laughs> Jeff and Taylor episode 14, Chaotic Crew. Out now on JeffandTaylorComic.com. Rated PG for mild violence, mild language, suggestive themes, and rich douchebags. They're one hell of a crew. Clown College, you can't eat that. Anyone up to go to the circus? Jeff and Taylor go with their friends to see the famous Frisbee's Traveling Circus. David's there too, and he caught the attention of the circus's ringmaster, Captain Starla. The young performer who's kind and sweet in the public eye but super mean and selfish behind closed doors. So Starla sent her clowns to abduct David so she can keep him all to herself. And it is up to our boys to save him by any means necessary. <laughs> clowns are funny. Jeff and Taylor episode 15, Circus Dogs. Out now on JeffandTaylorComic.com. Rated PG for mild violence, mild language, suggestive themes, and scary clowns. We're in big top trouble. You will not escape! You have no hope! The G-Station is back, and more dangerous than ever. Introducing G-Station HD Remake. The visuals are a lot sharper. Whoa, nice graphics! The story is better. Go to it, champ. The jokes are funnier. <laughs> it's smarter, hotter, cooler, weirder, crazier. <laughs> it's a very fun comic for everyone to enjoy. 
got you! And it's available now at Amazon.com. Link in the description. Anyone up for a friendly game of death? Again? This game is over!